Okay, it's time for another test question. Optics, optics, optics. Um, I'm, I'll be honest with you, there's a lot of cool stuff with optics, uh, but some of the introductory questions are kind of just, you know, kind of boring. I'm, I'm honest, I'm honest with you, I'm, I'm a straight shooter, okay? So let's just look at this one. Converging lens is a focal length of eight centimeters. So what does converging lens mean? It means this. So if I put an axis right here and then there's, it's this kind of lens, right? So I have a focal point there and a focal point there and we'll call that F. That's the distance F. So F equals eight centimeters. We don't have to change this to a different units because the uh, equation that we're gonna deal with is one over P plus one over Q equals one over F. I'm using the, the uh, some of the common, you could use I and O or P and Q. I don't really know why. I'm gonna use P for the object, Q for the image, and F for the focal length. So as long as they're all in the same units, the un this equation works, okay. Now, if I have a converging lens, then I have a positive focal length. So let's put my image distance. What is the image distance for an object placed 14 centimeters? So here's my object, and this is gonna be uh, P. And then I can I can just sketch this, right? So a light ray comes off the top of that and it's parallel to the axis is gonna pass through the focal length. And then if an object, a line goes right through the center, it just goes like that. And so I should get, this is just a rough sketch. I should get the image down there. So let's just say uh, I wanna solve for the image distance. So one over Q equals one over F minus one over P. Uh, now, how do I solve for that? You could put your numbers in, just be very careful, okay? I'm actually gonna solve this without putting the numbers in first. So this is going to be equal to, I need to get a common denominator, so I'm gonna say P over PF minus F over, I multiply, yeah, F over PF. So I multiply this one by P over P, I multiply this one by F over F. Now I have a common denominator of PF, so it's gonna be P minus F over PF. Now I can invert both sides of this equation and I get Q equals PF over P minus F. So it's going to be equal to uh, P was 14, 14 times eight over 14 minus eight. So let's just put our calculator right here, drop. 14, 8, and this is going to be equal to 6, 6 divided by, so I get 18.67 centimeters, so that's this distance right there. If the object is 4 centimeters tall, how tall is the image? First, is it real or virtual? This is going to be a real image because I have a positive image distance, and also uh, you could just sketch that out. Now the magnification is equal to, oh, I'm gonna get this backwards. I'm pretty sure uh, it's going to be equal to the ratios of the, the distances. So it's gonna be the magnification is the image distance over the object distance. And that's equal to the image height over the object height. H prime is the image height, I'm pretty sure. So H prime is gonna be equal to H times Q over P, so it's gonna be four centimeters times the image distance of 18.67 divided by the object distance of 14. So the magnification is gonna be four, enter, 18.67 times 14 divided by. I get 5.33, that's a height. That's not the magnification, that's centimeters. That's the height of the image. And it's real. There you go.